Hello there, children of God. I want to tell you about something that is really awesome. So it just so happens that I have in here a musical instrument. And this musical instrument is one that you press these different little keys, not key like a house key, but these other things that are called keys. And then you blow into it in a other certain area of this instrument thing. And then it makes this wonderful sound. Like it's kind of like wind, but it's kind of like music. And you can, you can even look at these little black dots on this other piece of paper, and then you can play the sound and it sounds just like a song. It's really cool. So, um, I mean, you could probably just imagine it, that it looks neat and it sounds neat and, and I can play it. I can tell you all about that. So that's, I mean, you, I'm sure can get a good image in your mind and a good sound in your head ear, right? Of what that is. So, um, moving on, you don't, you don't know what it looks like. Well, I mean, I, I told you it looks like a, I, I guess I didn't describe it well enough. It's kind of long and um, silverish and, oh, yeah, I guess I could kind of show you, huh? So, well, this is what it looks like. And then you, you know, you kind of put it together. I guess I could demonstrate how to do that too. See, it comes in these different little parts and this is the part that you blow in and, and then you, yeah, and then you blow in here and, and then it comes, the sound comes out and, and I mean, it, it sounds cool. So, yeah, that's, you don't know what it sounds like? Well, this is this is called a flute, and I I guess I could I could probably demonstrate for you what it sounds like, huh? I mean, would you know if I just told you that I could play it? I mean, I could I could tell you that I could play this, right? I guess it makes more sense if I actually do it, huh? Like if I if I actually put my mouth to it, that would maybe help you to understand and believe a little bit more what's going on, huh? Hmm. I guess it does work a little better when you actually do it, huh? I mean, you can definitely hear what it sounds like when I actually play it rather than when I just tell you what it sounds like, huh? You know, there's this phrase, actions speak louder than words. And what that means is that we can talk all day about something, but really doing it means a lot more, huh? I mean, I could tell you that I'm a fantastic artist, but if you don't see a picture that I've drawn or you don't watch me doing it, well, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. You know, Jesus talked about this same idea. And in fact, in our gospel lesson, he told a parable that sort of demonstrated it. But there's an extra super important thing that we can get out of this parable. So Jesus said that there were these two sons and their father asked them to do something. Well, one son said, oh, sure, dad. Yeah, I'm right on it. I'll get to it. No problem. The other son sort of went, eh, no, I don't think so. Not on my schedule today. Well, the father left and the son who had said, sure, I'll do it, sat around and didn't do a thing. But the other one decided, you know what? Sure, I can actually, yeah, I can, I can muster this up. I'll take care of it. Well, Jesus said, who was the one who actually obeyed? The first or the second guy? Well, of course, everyone hearing him said, well, the one who obeyed was the one who actually did what his father asked him to. Duh, that's pretty obvious. But Jesus was actually making a point. You see, he was talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees were people who talked a lot. They talked a big game and they liked to say how good they were. And they liked to explain and use all these fine, fancy words to say that they did what God told them to. But when it came down to it, they weren't loving. They weren't really carrying out what God wanted them to do. And Jesus was saying, it's one thing to just say that you love God. It's one thing to just say that you'll obey, but that doesn't mean anything. It's pretty pointless if you're not actually doing what God wants you to do, if you're not actually loving. So sure, we can go around and tell people that we're Christians and that we love Jesus. That's important, but we have to live it out. 
we have to show by our lives and our actions who we are. We have to really take care of people. We love people. We go to church. We pray. We read our Bibles. We don't just tell someone that we care, but we help them out when they need help. You know, true love really is a verb. It's something that we do, and we demonstrate that we love God when we love other people and animals sometimes too. But there's another very important thing that's going on in this story. See, it's not just about us and what we're doing. It's never just about us and what we're doing, in fact. This story is really also a story about Jesus. And Jesus is telling us that he is and does who he says he is. See, right before he told this parable, the Pharisees had said, so who made you the boss? Why do you act like you have so much power and authority? Who has given you this power? Where did it come from? Did it come from God? Of course it did. And Jesus was trying to explain that he didn't just come and talk a big game. He really came to act. He did come from God, was sent by God, and would do what he promised to do. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus. And Jesus demonstrated that love by dying for us. He demonstrated for his love that while we are still sinners, he died for us. He lived out his love. Jesus is kind of like a third son. One says what he'll do but doesn't do it. One doesn't say it and does it. Jesus said what he would do, made a promise, and fulfilled that promise. He acted on what he said he would do. And we know because of that that we can trust him, that he is the ultimate act of love, that he has demonstrated that. And so we ought to do the same, that we recognize what he's done for us and out of love and gratitude for that, we do for others as well. And that's a beautiful, wonderful thing for us to remember and to remember that, well, talking is one thing, but we want to really live out our love, that we want to act, and that we want to love others, not just with our mouths, but with our lives. So why don't we say a prayer and we can thank Jesus for doing that for us and ask him to help us to do it for others. Dear Jesus, thank you that we can trust you. Thank you for living for us. Thank you for dying for us. Help us to live out our love, to use our actions and not just our words, and to care for one another. Thank you for caring for us. In your name, amen. So, don't just talk about it, do it, and love it and enjoy it at the same time. Hope you have a great week. If you've enjoyed this and any other of our messages, which we post every week, feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you next time.